All right, welcome back. Here we're back with the H1. Uh, like I said the last time that you saw it, you probably would not see it in two pieces again. Uh, it is uh, made it back together. We've got a couple bolts holding it together. We're probably gonna have to, you know, lift it an inch or two to finish hooking some stuff up. But for the most part, the body is part of the frame. We've moved on to the wiring. I just got the ignition switch mounted. We've run half of the wiring inside the cab. We got the body control module, uh, the four wheel drive module, wiring for the ignition switch, the fuse box. You see a bunch of cut wires. Um, these have all been cut and moved for systems that, that we're no longer using, like power seats and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna use the regular gas pedal um, that came with the truck. It's a drive-by wire, so we'll just mount that to the firewall. Go out here, show you some of the, where we've decided to put some things. ECM's mounted here. We'll put a cover on it, protecting it from road debris. Transmission control module's mounted on this panel. Uh, our fuse box is gonna sit in roughly that place there. We'll put the little fancy cover back on it so it looks, looks pretty. Um, brakes are back on. Factory power steering pump to Hydro Boost will work on the Duramax pump. The gear to Reso or, uh, Hydro Boost line is too short. Uh, it needs to be made three inches longer and I'm gonna change the pivot on it. So we're gonna have to make one power steering hose. Uh, that's about where we're at. Uh, fuel systems all run. It, I have had it running where it's sitting. Um, it's not plumbed yet, but I have had it running. So that's where we're at. We're just I just ordered all the stuff to do the, the intake and the intercoolers on its way. Um, that's where we're at. Hopefully by the end of the weekend she'll be we'll be driving it. Thanks for hanging out.